Hi brothers and sisters. So I haven't been on lately and a lot of you know why. Um, because I've been having pregnancy complications and I've just been sick and tired and going through some anxiety issues in my pregnancy and um, but I wanted to come on and I know I haven't really been um, uh, responding back or uh, my participation on my channel has been very poor and I don't want people to think because I don't love them or I'm ignoring them or <laughs> um, that is is not the case um, and I apologize if I made someone feel like I'm ignoring them or um, and I had a dream that I was doing this video and in the dream, um, the Lord reminded me to thank everybody for their prayers and their financial support because I asked for help and then I never came on and <laughs> thanked uh, anybody and um, Sister Sherry did a video for me and, and I left a comment thanking everybody but... I didn't go down and do do it personally. But um the Lord is so good, you guys, and I really do appreciate all the help and prayers and and everything that you've done for me and my family. And I wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, there's been a lot of people emailing me and texting me how I'm doing and and um I'm kind of short with them because I've just I've just felt sick. I'm type 2 diabetic and um, terrible morning sickness which is actually fading now because I got some Zofran so I'm able to keep down more food <clears throat> but I've been meeting with a dietitian and logging my food and my blood sugar and stuff and it just takes up all of all of my day it's just like uh, in between being tired and dealing with the blood sugars going up and down and up and down and and uh, but the Lord hasn't stopped giving me dreams or visions or audibles and especially about my pregnancy I want to share some of those with you guys so the first <clears throat> um Let's see. During a period of about three weeks. And also, too, um, if you have children listening, now's probably not the, the best time for them to listen. Because I might say some s sensitive things in this video. I don't know. But just, you know, just wait to listen to the video uh, when they're not around. You know, because you might have to be explain some things to them. But, um. So during, there was a period of about three weeks in my first trimester where I was cramping and, and bleeding and passing tissue and a terrible pain all day long, bedridden. My doctor put me on um, bed rest at nine weeks. And I spent the next three weeks um, just cramping and bleeding and passing tissue and I had no idea why and I ended up at the emergency room they said well there's a baby there it's fine the heart beats um, just fine and everything looks good and I couldn't believe it um, because you know Google is <laughs> Google is uh, put, gives you nightmares right but I'd be googling laying in bed googling the stuff and they were saying either you are miscarrying you have miscarried or um y you are starting to miscarry and because they would say there's no there could be bleeding or cramping or they talk about implantation bleeding but that only happens for a few days 
and you should not be bleeding and severe cramping and and passing any tissue and that was that was happening for a few weeks and I the cramps were so bad I I started doing Lamaze um, and that because the Tylenol wasn't working and I was lamazing myself through these cramps until I was so exhausted I would fall asleep <clears throat> and I never understood why later later I'll tell you why but and so that passed and then the severe vomiting happened and I would joke with people they say how you doing and I'd be like oh I feel like a dog with parvo and <laughs> they would just laugh if you country folks ever had a dog with parvo it's it's terrible it's 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 a bad situation but um <clears throat> I'd be laying there in bed at night just praying, just talking to God, just like, Lord, please let this be it. And um, I can't do this anymore. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I thought maybe I was losing. I had lost a twin. I, I don't know. So many things were going through my head. And I heard the Lord say out loud, audibly, Congratulations, everybody. Mother and baby are doing just fine. And, you know, I got tears coming out of my eyes. I'm in so much pain. And uh, I just kind of looked up into the darkness. And, you know, I felt gratitude. I felt grateful. And I knew that, that I was in the Lord's hands. But it was still kind of like, really? <laughs> and, um... And then, let's see, there was a couple other things he told me too. What was it? Oh, he told me, um, this is where the cover your ears or send the kids out, but he told me not to have relations with my husband. You know how they say, oh, that's, that stuff's fine. You know, it's not going to cause anything. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, it's healthy or whatever. Well, he, he audibly specifically told me to um, not have intimate relations with my husband. <clears throat> and then from then I knew, I was like, Lord, you, I just, he's taking care of me. You know, he's, he, he's, the Lord is participating because he's the one that, that made this miracle that I would get pregnant. But he is an active speaking to me participant and, He's just so amazing, you guys. Um, just there. Just there when I need him. And, uh, and so when that passed, after a f uh, two or three, I, I believe it was almost three weeks of that, I started throwing up. Everything I ate, I just threw it up. And uh, that was, it was so bad. I've already lost um, 12 pounds um, from throwing up. And um, so I'm laying there one night and I'm just crying and, and I'm just like, Lord, please let this be the, no more morning sickness, please let this be the last um, day. I just eaten dinner and <clears throat> a couple hours went by and I went to lay down. I threw up and back and forth throwing up and I finally got my stomach to calm down. I'm just talking to the Lord and, and I'm like, Lord, please let this be the last. And he, I heard him speak to me audibly again. He said, don't forget to brush your teeth. <laughs> I was like, Oh, what? <laughs> he said, don't forget to brush your teeth. <laughs> I um, like in a caring, like how you'd say it to a little child. And which I am a tooth hound. I have always been very particular about my teeth. But during this time of throwing up, I it was the last thing. I mean, I'd swish my, you know, swish some mouthwash or, you know, uh, water, make sure to gargle it out with some water or something but a toothbrush is the last thing I wanted in my mouth um, and that's when he said don't forget to, to brush your teeth 
And to me, that statement was said a lot of things. For one, it said, um, I love you. There's going to be some more. You're going to throw up some more. You know, um, the vomit, the acid and the vomit is going to wear your enamel off of your teeth. Because I, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I hear those stories of women having throwing up so much that they get cavities and it just destroys their enamel. And uh, so I was so grateful for that. He's he's so loving, you guys. Our Lord and Savior is so loving. We serve a mighty and righteous and loving God. This whole thing has up until now pregnancy has just been amazing I I mean there's no words to describe our God he is there's just no words Um, so I go to my first um, ultrasound And I go in there and uh, get my, you know, they do the ultrasound and take pictures and all that. And I had a doctor's appointment in a week. Now my blood sugar starts getting all crazy and everything. And in between that, I've had so many doctor's appointments because I'm high risk and everything. So I'm meeting with doctors and dietitian and... um, I'm having to chart and the doctor's trying to see what level insulin she's going to put me on. And, um, they forgot about me. Like the dietitian thought the doctor was going to order the insulin and the doctor thought the dietitian was going to order the insulin or vice versa. And somehow I slipped through the cracks. So I went for like another three and a half weeks, just trying to do it naturally. Oh my goodness. Uh, on top of food aversion and not, not really being able to keep things down that I should be keeping down. And then on top of that, I'm also starting to crave beans, pinto beans, and that's crazy for a diabetic. So I'm having, <laughs> it's just like one thing after the other, you guys. And so, anyway, back to the ultrasound. So then I go in to meet my doctor, and I bring my logs. Oh, yeah, I had to do a 24-hour urine um, thing to see a a jug thing, the gallon jug urine 24-hour analysis. Oh. And uh, so I go in to talk to her, and she said, well, they, the sonographer, I think that's what it's called, found that you have something, an abnormality with your placenta and only one to 2% of pregnant women worldwide get this abnormality. And I said, well, what is it? And, um, I says like placenta previa. She's like, no, she said, this is different. It's called placenta circumvallet. And she's all, it's, but it's, it's nothing to worry about. It, everything will be okay. And I was like, okay. And then she wanted to hear the baby's heartbeat, which everything was fine with that. Everything came back normal with my ultrasound, the, the growth, the heart rate, you know, everything's fine. Except for this problem with my placenta. And placenta circumvallate is when the placenta has like the membrane that grows around the placenta doubles back and grows the opposite way towards the um, umbilical cord where it comes out of the placenta and it creates a thick membrane like a rubber band um, on the surface of I don't know you look it up to see pictures if you're interested but And what happens is around the edges of the placenta, it doesn't um, implant like the middle of the placenta. The edges of it kind of curl up. And so it's not, the whole placenta isn't firmly implanted to where the baby can get enough blood flow um, 
through the um, umbilical cord and then to the baby. So those are the things that I'm dealing with as of late. This is the new thing that they've they've given me and um, so if you guys could pray about that for me um, I have um, uh, brother Andrew Rich praying for me and sister Sherry and it could be a serious thing like I said Google is the worst enemy when it comes to medical problems so when I Googled it, I could barely find anybody, any women that had the same issue. There was probably like three or four women that I found and a couple on YouTube because they, when they were diagnosed, they also felt alone. So they vlogged, um, what was, you know, how their pregnancy was with circumvallate. <clears throat> but it's very rare and um, I'm just putting my trust in the Lord because I now I look back when he told me when I was crying in my room um, congratulations everybody mother and baby are doing just fine and these women that have uh, placenta circumvallate their babies only grow there's a good chance that their babies would only grow 10% of the birth weight as, as a normal baby. And, um, on YouTube, the two women that I was kind of looking at their vlogs, they ends up, one ends up having a eight pound baby and the other one ends up having a five pound baby. She made her baby made it to five pounds. So, you know, I guess it's not as bad as how Google says, but um, I'm just putting my trust and faith in the Lord, you guys. And yes, it still has an anxiety on me. And um, like I said, it's hard to think about other things right now and participating in my channel and trying to help other people right now because I just, I'm going through so many health problems and, and uh, anxiety wants to creep in on me and But I have this uh, knowing that God's going to take care of everything. And it's going to be all for his glory. It's going to be all for his, his worship and his praise. And uh, so that is where I'm at right now. And I just started taking my insulin yesterday. It's crazy. It's like it worked the first two meals. And then my body adjusted immediately. Like, it doesn't want to work anymore. <laughs> so, um, I, I don't know what to do with that. I'm just going to have to tell my dietitian. Um, and that's where I'm at with that. But the Lord is so good, you guys. That's all I can say. Um, he knew that I would be knowing that I have placenta circumvallit and that I would be driving myself insane worried all day long if the baby's okay and that's what he told me mother and baby will be fine and not to forget to brush my teeth <laughs> it's like it reminds me of when uh jesus was in the boat and the storm came and he was sleeping through the storm and the disciples are going nuts and i'm paraphrasing of course and um he wakes up and, and he's irritated. He's like, but have you no faith? You know, <laughs> it's kind of like water off a duck's back, you know, water off the ducks, a duck's back to the Lord. Nothing is too big for the Lord to take care of. And, uh, so I've had some, uh, dreams about the antichrist and, uh, Oh, I had a vision of Donald Trump. And I'll probably come and make another video. It was an awake vision of Donald Trump in Texas. So I'll probably come and make another video tomorrow. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. I love each and every one of you. 
I am sorry that I'm not on, you know, encouraging you guys and, and cause I've seen, uh, scrolling through, I've seen titles and Sherry's kept me updated and about dreams and visions that are coming to pass. And I've had ones that correlate with these, these dreams and visions and they are coming to pass. And, uh, I usually I'd be up there saying, Oh my goodness, you know, praise Jesus. This is going on right now. And I had this dream a year ago and sister so-and-so just had this dream. And then another confirmation dream and the Holy Spirit's moving right now, you guys. And, you know, uh, confirming what's about to happen or what is happening right now. And I've had so many Brexit dreams and, um, not, not so many. I've had one Brexit dream, but a, a bunch of British dreams with people talking different scenarios and British accents. And you guys would know that if you follow my channel, I mean, but, uh, confirmations, confirmations, the Lord is giving confirmations and we are getting closer and closer and closer and, uh, anyway, I just love to see how the, how the Holy Spirit moves and our YouTube family and with other people, uh, well, we're all a YouTube family, even if we haven't met yet, we're all family. We're all one in Jesus Christ knitted together in love, right? But, um, I love you guys, and I'm going to sign off for the night. And uh, I'm feeling like, like I might have to go throw up. <laughs> but I love you guys, and God bless you, and I will talk to you soon.